Bismillah, elhamdülillah, ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulillah, ve ala alihi ve ashabihi ve men velâhem ve ba'd. This is our 20th lesson, going through the book Nukhbatul Fikr fi Mustarahi Ehlil Athar, lil Hafız ibn Hajar rahimahullahu ta'ala. We stopped at the statement of the author rahimahullah, thumma al-ruwat wa in ittafaqat asma'uhum wa asma'u abaihim fa sa'idan, wa akhtalafat ashkhasuhum fa wal-muttafiq wa al-muftariq, wa in ittafaqat il asma'u khattan wa akhtalafat nutqan fa wal-muttarif wa al-muhtarif, وإن اتفقت الأسماء واختلفت الآباء أو بالعكس فالمتشابه وكذا وقع الاتفاق في الاسم واسم الأب والاختلاف في النسبة ويتركب منه ومما قبله أنواع منها أن يحصل الاتفاق أو الاشتباه إلا في حرف أو حرفين أو بالتقديم والتأخير أو نحو ذلك سيوث رحمه الله تعالى منجنز هنا an important point which is the names of the narrators that are very very similar so there may become, or there may come times in which we find a narrator who shares a name with another narrator, or there are very, very similar, or there are very, very uh, specific similarities between narrators when it comes to their names, such that it can become a bit confusing. And so there are nomenclature put in place to differentiate between them. And so the first nomenclature is Al-Muttafiq wa Al-Muftaliq. Al-Muttafiq wa Al-Muftaliq, Al-Khatib Baghdad, Rahim Allah Ta'ala, has a book on this issue called Al-Muttafiq wa Al-Muftaliq. It is that, as the author Rahimahullah Ta'ala said, the names of the narrators and the names of their fathers are the same. However, they are different people. And so you have one individual called Umar ibn al-Khattab and you have another individual called Umar ibn al-Khattab. They both have the same name and their fathers have the same name. How are you going to differentiate between them? One person is called Muhammad ibn Abdullah, another person is called Muhammad ibn Abdullah. How are you going to differentiate between them? That needs to be done. And so Al-Khatib al-Baghdadi Rahimahullah Ta'ala wrote a book on this issue. المتفق والمفترق i.e. the names are the same the names of the fathers are the same but they're different people طيب that's المتفق والمفترق uh, and the benefit behind knowing it is that you're able to differentiate that this is one person and that is another person so you don't mix up between the narrators there may be a case where one person is called Muhammad Abdullah and another person is called Muhammad Abdullah one of them is a thiqa another one is a wadwa uh, طيب and so if you now uh, don't know the difference between the two, or you're not, you're unable to differentiate between the two. You might come across a narration thinking that this is the Muhammad Abdullah, which is the Wadda, when in reality it's the Thiqa, طيب. And so you need to, and that's why you, there is a, a benefit in knowing this issue. The next nomenclature is al-Mu'talif al-Mu'talif, al-Mu'talif wal-Mu'talif. Al-Mu'talif al-Mu'talif is as the author Rahim Allah Taala said, the names are the same when it comes to writing. However, how you pronounce it is different. How you pronounce it is different. And the ways in which pronunciation can be different is, مثلا, changes in the نقط or changes in the شكل. For example, عبيدة and عبيدة. When you remove the شكل and when you remove the نقط, they're exactly the same. The building blocks of this, when you write it out, write out عبيدة and عبيدة without any نقط, نقط without any diatrical marks, without any dots. It will look exactly the same. And back in those days, there were no dots and there were no diatrical marks. If you come across a, a manuscript, مثلا, you have to know who this is. طيب. Is it Abida or is it Ubaida? Or is it Hamal or is it Jamal, for example? طيب. Is it uh, Bashir or is it Bushair? طيب. Are there books written on this? Yes, Al Khadim Baghdadi Rahimahullah Ta'ala wrote a book on it. Tarkhis al Mutashabi. في الرسمي by الخطيب البغدادي رحمه الله تعالى طيب the next terminology the next nomenclature that falls under this concept of uh, يعني الرواة المشتبهة is المتشابه المتشابه is where you have the names of two narrators being the same in terms of pronunciation and the same in terms of writing for example هذا محمد وهذا محمد this is Muhammad and that's Muhammad. It's, it's written the same and it's pronounced the same. However, the fathers, the fathers' names differ in terms of nutq, but they are same in terms of khat. So for example, this person is called Muhammad ibn Aqil, and this person is called Muhammad ibn Uqayl. Or this person is called Muhammad ibn Ubaidah, and that person is called Muhammad ibn Abidah. This person is called Muhammad ibn Abbas, this person is called Muhammad ibn Ayyash. 
فعبد الله بن عباس عبد الله بن عياش عياش بن عباس when you remove the نقط and you remove diacritical marks it's the same in terms of writing but they're different in terms of pronunciation so that's what's meant by المتشابه then the author رحمه الله تعالى speaks about a very important concept which is that uh, there may be a اتفاق an agreement between two narrators in terms of their names and in terms of their father's names but they differ in terms of their nisbah for example we have a person called Muhammad ibn Abdullah al-mukharrami or al-mukharrimi right Muhammad ibn Abdullah al-mukharrimi this is nisbah ila madinatin fi Baghdad it's a nisbah an attribution to a town in Baghdad al-mukharram from Baghdad Mukharram or Mukharrim, it's a place in Baghdad. As for another narrator, his name is Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Makhrami. Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Makhrami. This is a different nisbah. And Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Makhrami here is from the narrators of Al Imam al Shafi'i. So we have Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Mukharrami and we have Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Makhrami. Mukharrami is better than Mukharram in Baghdad. And Makhrami is a nisbah which is not the nisbah to al Mukharram in, in Baghdad. Then the author, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he said, وَيَتَرَكَّبُ مِنْهُ مِمَّا قَبْلَهُ أَنْوَاعَ مِنْهَا أَنْ يَحْصُلَ الْإِتِفَاقَ وَالْإِشْتِبَاهُ إِلَّا فِي حَرْفٍ وَحَرْفَيْنِ أَوْ بِالتَّقْدِيمِ وَالتَّأْخِيرِ أَوْ نَحْوِ ذَلِكِ So here, there are other categories that can fall under what the author, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, mentioned. For example, you have somebody who uh, they share the same first name and they have a similar second name but there's only differences in one letter or two letters for example Muhammad ibn Hunayn against Muhammad ibn Jubayr when you write Hunayn out without the diacritical marks and the dots or when you write Jubayr out without diacritical marks and dots they're the same except for the last letter right the last letter will be a Ra in the case of the Jubayr and it will be a Noon in the case of Hunayn right طيب. But, so they're very similar, they look alike. Right? So that's important for a person to understand and be able to differentiate the difference. Or for example, تقديم وتأخير. For example, somebody is called Abdullah ibn Zayd. And another person is called Zayd ibn Abdullah. Or مثلا, somebody is called Al-Aswad ibn Yazid. Or somebody is called Yazid, Yazid ibn Al-Aswad. Right? So it's very difficult, very, يعني, uh, this تقديم and تأخير, it's very important for a person to have an understanding of. طيب. أو نحو ذلك or like or like that so this is important and this falls under uh, أسماء الرواة المشتبهة والله تعالى أعلم مصطبه بإذن الله سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك أشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته